Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So I haven't done a video that's specifically about me or a story about myself in a while, so I thought, you know, might as well do this. This is probably one of the the story I'm about to tell is probably one of the stupidest things that I've ever done in my life. But it came to my mind earlier today, I was like, you know what? This is a good story to keep on record because even though it was stupid, nowadays I look back and I just chuckle at my idiocy. Which, I mean, I do that a lot anyway, but... Anyway. <sighs> so what happened was that I... <sighs> first grade. I believe. It was either first, second, or third grade. I guess. Oh my gosh. I'm boring myself by the beginning of this. Let's make this more interesting. Sometime between first and third grade, I was a very, very, very curious boy. I was going through the halls. I think it was probably like recess or something. I don't know. I don't remember. I bet I was just getting in line, moving back to a classroom. These details I don't directly remember. What I do remember is the main point of this story. As I said earlier, I was a very curious child. And one of the things that I did while in elementary school was I saw a fire alarm. We all probably know where this is about to go just for me stopping there. Yeah, I pulled it. No reason whatsoever, just curious on what would happen. Because I had never heard it before and it was so loud, it scared the crap out of me. What did I do? Ran into the bathroom. Not really realizing what was going on. And then, they find out it was me who pulled it. I mean, no surprise there. I'm literally the only one in the school, and people are like, hmm, I wonder who did it. Hmm, I wonder. Principal calls me into the office. Next thing I know, my dad's there to pick me up. Scolding me, of course, because, you know, I'm a kid. I don't know any better. But you look back at it now, and it's just funny. It's humorous. You, like, look back, and you're like, yeah, that's adorable, funny. Did wrong, but still you think back on it now because you know you did wrong and you don't do it anymore. That was funny. That's probably one of two notable stupid things that I have done in my past to keep record of because I find them humorous now. Yeah, you're hearing me right. I said two. So at a point, I don't remember when, but at a point in my life on the second one, I, a, a, ba a babysitter of mine who was a consistent at the time um, actually watched over me while my parents went out of state. Can't remember whether they went out of country or not, but they did at least go out of state. And what did they do? Well, they hired a babysitter to babysit me, of course, while I was at home. It was me and my sister, I believe. My sister was too young to go to school, so she kind of just stuck around the house. Me, I was old enough at least to go to the elementary school, so she's going to pick me up, driving me home. Now this is back in a time where every car, not just some cars, every car had those things where you, the, the sections where you were plugging in your phones to charge them, well, back in my day, kiddos, the only cars we had You'd plug them in, and when you um, the thing that covered them would also be a cigarette lighter. And every time you unplugged it, you'd be ready to light the cigarette. Regardless of whether you smoked or not, it was there. I pulled it out out of sheer curiosity what it looked like, and I saw the other end. Without even thinking, thumb on the hot part. I start screaming in pain and drop the thing. Luckily, this babysitter, whether uh, it was one of them or the other, there, there were two of them, both of them were sisters, I just don't remember which one was actually babysitting me at the time, puts it back, checks the hand, asks for it, ends up wrapping it, I think it was like a gauze, I think, no, Neosporin, put Neosporin on it, I think, was it? I forget the name of the liquid. There's a specific liquid you use, not water, to cool down heat. 
because it was a first degree burn, so it wasn't so bad. But she cooled it down, wrapped a gauze around it, and sternly said, don't do that again. Well, you think this story ends there? No. Months later, maybe years, no, yeah, it was months later, Dad's picking me up from school again, driving me home, and he has the same type of, he has one of those cars as well, that has one of those things. In fact, most cars had them back then. And guess what I decide to do? The exact same stupid thing. It happened twice. I know this for a fact. This happened twice. And... Yeah, I was an idiot. I look back now and I just laugh at these two things, that I, these two stupid things that I did. But they were stupid, yes, but they were also funny at the same time. And it's something... It's one... Th that's the only one reason why I feel like these are notable to keep on record. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking about it right now. But I don't know. In any case, I am going to leave this video here. If you guys had any stupid moments that you have to, had in your life that you're willing to share, vaguely let me know in the comments below. What, only do it, though, if it uh, makes you laugh. Otherwise, I don't want to embarrass anybody. If there are any comments down there, though, that tease anyone, once people do put that, though, I will remove them. That fast. Because I don't want anybody to feel bad for this kind of stuff. These are things in the past that are supposed to make us laugh. So please try to avoid stuff like that, guys. Anyway, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you are interested in sharing that kind of thing. If not, that's fine. No one's going to judge anybody for that kind of thing. I won't. Others won't, as far as I know. If they do, comment will be removed. In any case, yeah, let me know. If you liked this video, if you liked the stories that I presented, make sure to push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. I don't do About Me videos as much as I probably should, but it would probably ruin the milestone bits. Anyway, if you really like this kind of thing and you do want to check more videos like that out, plus any rants or topics that I like to randomly talk about that has nothing to do with me, really, maybe a little bit, but not too much, Click the links on the side of my head. One side will have the videos about me, the other ones will be the DNR or discussion and rant videos. If you really like this kind of stuff, you want to check out more other than those two playlists. I do gaming stuff, I do outdoorsy stuff. Rarely, but I do do it, along with skits, um, which again, that's rare, but it is done. Check out the channel itself. We do stuff like that all the time, and I love doing it. Love entertaining you guys love discussing stuff that you guys bring up so please do check out the channel if you have not yet or if you're not subbed yet and you do like this and this is not your first video you see please do consider subscribing in the meantime though thanks once again for watching this video guys hope you guys have a rest great rest of your day and i hope to see you guys in another video bye for now